Hello, class. How are you? No teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm good. Thank you. Everything good. Let me check. It's very hot today, huh? Yes. see so so how is the weather in in la palma is uh, a little hot too it's hot yes Okay, um, Allison is sick. She already wrote to me while she, she said it on the chat. I hope she's doing better. And um, Jose, what do you do? I mean, I know that you're a lawyer, but do you work in a company or you work independently? Independently, I work in my own office. Oh, okay, good. Do you see a lot of, for example, what is the majority of, um? how can I say this? The majority of deals that you see, are they related to cars, selling cars? Yes, buying and selling cars, contracts, yes. Uh, in surpassing the, how do you say, tramites? The paperwork. <laughs> okay, the paperwork in surpassing, um, buying and selling houses, for example, and the paperwork in CNR. For oh, example, you do that. Mm -hmm. you do that? Like, is it is it difficult to buy a house in the suburb? Um, not really. Uh, I mean, the the, the, to... the paperwork. No, no. It's, for me, it's easy. It's like buying a car. Yes, the, the buying a a house. It's more uh, a little bit more difficult than buying a car. Yeah, it's more expensive. I mean, no, but forget the money. I mean, I'm saying the procedures. You you need more more paperwork, correct? Yes, yes, because you have to make sure your your work. You you don't you you can't do a mistake in. That's paperwork. Yeah, I imagine. I'm going to ask you a stupid question. Mm -hmm. Imagine I buy a property. Okay. Okay. How much of that property is mine up? So imagine I want to make a building. Yeah. I want to construct a building, okay. but I want the building to be Two stories, three stories, or twenty stories. I have no problem. I don't know what do you mean with stories? Pisos, stories. Ah, okay. No, if you you want to build to up, the limit is the sky. Oh, okay, good. So then I have no limit. I mean, it's only in the ground. Yes. 
Oh, okay, interesting. In the United States, you have a limit. Really? Yes. Every city you have a, it's very conditional. For example, yeah, you know, like, um, have you seen in the movies that people that live in apartments? Yes. Those apartments, you can buy, yes. You yes. can buy them, they're yours, but you can't modify them. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it, the, I, and I think, I think in El Salvador that's happening too. In buildings, there's there's conditions. In buildings, but you, if you have you you want buy uh, your own uh, house without a building, you have to build to up, and you don't have any problem. Yeah, yeah, but like for example, in the apartments, you can't modify them i think you can't paint them different colors there's a lot of things you can't do for example i think uh, the correct example is in the building there is in multiplaza near multiplaza mm -hmm. what's called uh, well, you know, in, in 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 San Benito, there are many buildings like that now. Maybe in that that places, and uh, you can't build or change paint or, or something like that. Have Have you been to San Benito recently? No. Okay, by you know, like um, by Multiplaza. Oh man, there's an infinity amount of buildings. Yes. made in this moment there's but a lot you a lot can, of buildings you can uh, how do you say remodel that uh remodel remodel you can't do that my uncle bought an apartment in in san benito and the building is still in construction yang in el parking huh? Can you imagine that? So that building is going to be prepared maybe in, I don't know, maybe in three, four years. But that building are too expensive. Uh, uh, yes and no. Yes and no. And let, right. me, let me explain to you why many people, many people think the Bitcoin is bad, many people think it's good, and many people don't know. Um, like, I don't know, 15 years ago, the Bitcoin was around $150, one Bitcoin. So now the Bitcoin is what, $25,000? So, yes. So all these people that invested in the past, now they are billionaires, billionarios, you know? So there are many countries like the United States that if you have Bitcoin, okay, good. They will take taxes from you and like a commission for converting your Bitcoin money. And it's very high. So many people that invested in Bitcoin, they are angry because they said, why? I understand I need to pay taxes. Okay. But why do I need to pay commission to convert? And it's similar to taxes. You know, so then they said, no, 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 no. And here comes El Salvador <laughs> where Bitcoin is legal. O sea, fue buena jugada de... de, de but yeah, but many people say, yeah, but that's only for the rich. Who invests? Have you ever seen poor people invest? No, only rich people invest. And for example, these people invest in that building. I I, I think so. 
because if you go there, it's like every, it's like every corner there's a there's a building build. Están haciendo buildings, 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 buildings. Who is buying those buildings? Mm -hmm. uh, who is buying those apartments? You know. So, but then no, people normal Salvadorian. I don't no, think so. No. So many people say, yeah, but the Bitcoin doesn't benefit me. No, it doesn't. But for example, where my uncle is, there are maybe 1,000 employees making that building. 1,000 employees. Mal pagados, yes. But 1,000 employees. So it depends how you see the, how you see the, um, ¿cómo es? Que cada manera de uno, the, the, the side that you see. So, yeah, you know, a lot of people are, for example, do you know Messi, the, the contract he has in in Miami? That he's going to know. make millions and millions and millions of dollars. Do you know how much tax he's going to pay? He has to yes. pay 35% tax. Can you imagine? I think he's going to make what? $300 million. $300 million. Imagine how much tax he's going to pay. 35%. Uh -huh. Entonces, that's why, that's why um, many countries like United States or otros países, they were angry with El Salvador for the Bitcoin. Como, hey, hey. Nos estás haciendo quedar mal. Because, um, yeah. Yeah, so... But you know, like when you go to Some, the net, hmm? someday we'll we will uh, buy a, a kind of building. Someday, you know, maybe. You know, the company I work for, they it's in the United States, so they deposit for me, and they pay me every week. But listen to this. If they pay me to my bank account, the Bank of New York, le cobran charges, they charge them like 25 or $28 to deposit outside of the United States. And my bank in El Salvador cobra commission to receive that money and give it to me. So that's fifty dollars a week. I don't see. And one day, the accountant calls me. Hey, David. Yes. El Salvador has Bitcoin, correct? Yes. Do you want me to deposit your money to Bitcoin? So they deposit my money to Bitcoin, and I pay no commission. <laughs> Nothing. Because I convert, I, I convert from Bitcoin to dollars, and I take out my money normally. So I, I was happy. Yes, I was happy. No se me había ocurrido, man. I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy, because I was paying fifty dollars a week for commissions. Now I pay nothing. Impressive. Yeah. So you know, everything has good and bad. Good and bad. Yeah. And Claudia is walking around a lot. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello. Hello, teacher. Um, I'm very good. Uh, I'm interested about the topic that you talked. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, some, yeah, don't, don't see this like politics. See it like the, the beneficiary or not. Um, for example, remember the dollar when when the dollar changed? Many people said it was good. Many people said it was bad. But it has goods and bad. For me, it was good. But some people say it was bad. Yeah. So that, that's how um, Bitcoin is. See. And all this, but but you know what? One day I remember I had 
Siempre dejo dinero. I had like $15 in Bitcoin. O sea, I had $15 in dollars. Y lo, you know, in the Chivo wallet, you can choose if you want those $15 in dollars or Bitcoin. So I transferred them to Bitcoin. And I don't know what happened. It was a very good week. So the $15 se me hicieron $19. So I went to the supermarket. <laughs> hey, $4 extra is $4, man. Yeah, so. But sometimes, sometimes my $15, it was $14, $13. And it went down and it went up, it went down. So when it's good, invest. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Dennis? How are you? Doing great. What's I new? It's very hot here. No, it's it's in general. I was speaking with my wife before class, and um, it's really stupid hot right now. Yeah. It's it's like San Miguel hot right now. Oh yeah, oh, I no. think no San Miguel is worse. San Miguel is crazy. How is la how is San Sonate, Claudia? It's hot too. This day was very, very hot. Oh, but it's very hot, but I still drink my coffee. No. Where, where is hotter? Uh, is it uh, San Miguel or Sonsonate? In my opinion, it's San Miguel. And the difference oh. is, the difference oh. is that in Sonsonate, it's hot, yes, but there's a little wind, a little, little wind. In San Miguel, it's like there's no gravity. Really? Yes. Te prometo que puedes oír el calor. Se oye como... When you open the door, you, you can... And you look at a tree and it doesn't move. I mean, nothing moves. It's like, it's hot. Uh, I think that I have like 10 years... 10 years of not going to I San lived, Miguel. I lived in no, San I don't Miguel. remember. I lived in San Miguel for two years and um accidentally I was becoming an alcoholic. Because <laughs> really? yes, because I remember when I finished work, I used to eat in this taqueria, this and um it was so hot. And one time I saw this person in front of me, he had a beer. And the beer looks so cold, so cold. So I told the waiter, please give me one beer. And they served, well, that place at Taqueria, they served the beer so, so cold that when you drank it, you felt your body cold. Like, oh, man, this is good. <laughs> you know, very refreshing. So I said, Can one more beer, one more beer. So like every day I was drinking like three or four beers for dinner because as I came in, like, oh, oh. <laughs> this is, I am unconsciously becoming an alcoholic. <laughs> but what happened at the end? You were unable to, to, to continue living there because the. Because oh, no. The uh, where I lived, where I lived, it, it had air conditioning. You know, like in San Miguel, everybody has air conditioning. Even if you're very, very poor, they have air conditioning. Really? Yes, it's like, well, in San Salvador, if you have air conditioning, it's because, you know, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a lujo. It's a luxury. But in San Miguel, it's like a basic necessity. That everybody um has that. All right, and Rafael Antonio, how are you, sir? Uh, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. Uh, right. It is hot too. Uh, hey, but, but you're from San Salvador, right? No, I'm from Cojutepec. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cojutes. Cojutes is hot, no? No, but uh, uh, this this moment is 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 it's so so hot. Yeah, I imagine. Uh, I don't know why, but but it's so hot. 
Oh, okay. Okay, so let me see, class. Let me see. Let me share with you. Do you see the lady in the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's let's see. I we saw this video yesterday, I think, but let's see it again. Hold on. Okay, give me one second here. It's only Tuesday tomorrow. Are you ready to express wishes and regrets? Remember, we can wish about the present and the future, and we regret about the past. Wishes and regrets. For wishes about the present and future, use wish plus past simple or past continuous or could or would plus verb. I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion. I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. For regrets about the past, use wish plus past perfect. I wish I'd taken a few Spanish classes. I wish I had given my parents such a hard time when I was growing up. For regrets about the past, use if plus past perfect and could or would have plus past participle. If I had stuck with something, I could have gotten good at it. For strong wishes about the present or future or for strong regrets about the past, use if only. If only clauses are often used without a main clause. If only my boss would consider promoting me. In English, there are different ways to express wishes in the present and in the future. We may use wish plus past simple, wish plus past continuous, wish plus could plus verb, or wish plus would plus verb. We use wish plus past simple to express that we want a situation in the present or future to be different. Example, I wish I spoke English. I don't speak English. I wish I had a big car. I don't have a big car. I wish I were on a beach. I am in the office. Future. I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. It's only Tuesday tomorrow. Did you notice the use of were when using the pronoun I and it? This change also happens with he and she. This only happens in wishful thinking or hypothetical situations. We use wish plus past continuous to express that we want to be doing a different action in the present or the future. For example, I wish I were laying on a hammock now. I'm sitting in the office. I wish it weren't raining. It is raining. We use wish plus past perfect to express a regret or that we want a situation in the past to be different. I wish I hadn't spent too much money. I spend lots of money. They wish they had stayed in Japan. They didn't stay in Japan. We use if plus past perfect plus could have or would have plus past participle to express regrets about the past or when we want to imagine changing something in the past. For example, if she had gone to university, she could have studied French. She didn't go to university. Okay, so let's do one more time. Um, the wishful thinking. Wish to have a big car. So listen, I'm so when you want something in the present, you say the verb in the past. I wish I had. I wish 
I spoke English. I wish I spoke French. I wish I had air conditioning in my room. Okay, do you understand? Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, one little exception, and the exception is with was. Normally, you would say, I wish I was. I wish he was, I wish you were. But in this case, it's were for everything. I wish I were, I wish you were, I wish he were, she were. Do you understand? So if you yeah. want to say, I wish I was rich, no, it's I wish I were rich. Y se van a preguntar, hey, teacher, pero were para we and they. Yes, but not in this case. In this, porque esto se llama wishful thinking. So I wish I were. Okay. Did you ever see that movie from Tom Hanks, Big? Quisiera ser grande, I think. That's in Spanish. No. Y you never saw that movie? No, and I and I I consider myself a big fan of. No, may, may, maybe you have because it's 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 a very old movie, but it's um Tom Hanks that he's a little kid and he makes a wish that he was an adult. He makes really? a wish to a machine, and the next day he wakes up and he's an adult. No, no, I don't remember. Oh maybe my I God. Seen that that's movie. a classic movie. Really. I have well, to watch. It. Well, th there's one part. The thing is that um he went to uh he was I think 11 years old and he went to a fair with the girl and he wanted to go on a ride but he was too small. And they didn't permit him so he was very angry and he said I wish I were big. He made a wish to a machine. And I wish I were big so then the next day he wakes up and he was big. Pero eso es he said I wish I were big. All right, so Rafael, tell me something uh, you wish in this moment. Um, I wish I drink a beer. <laughs> no, you can say, I wish I had a beer. Okay, I wish I had a beer. Yeah. Uh, Right. What about you, Dennis? What is something you wish? I wish I have purchased like 10 Bitcoin 10 <laughs> years ago. Okay, but yeah, uh, but don't know, but right now, something you wish in the present. Oh, um, I wish I have, um, I don't know, a, a house at the lake. I wish I had. I wish I had a, a a house, a lake house. Okay, good. Claudia, what is something that you wish for in this moment? Who, Claudia? Uh, well, you, Claudia Marcela. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I wish I were in a in Ireland. Ireland, sorry. In Ireland. Ireland, yeah. I wish I were in Ireland. Good. Why Ireland? The weather is better than here. It's cold. Yeah. That's true. I wish I lived in In Prague, Praga or something. Noruega, Nor Nor no, it's Noruega. Norway, claramente it's Norway or, um, I don't know, I, I wish I lived like in Finland. Wow, imagine in Finland. Yambisto, un YouTuber famoso. 
que los videos de él son bien bonitos porque él no habla, simplemente camina en la ciudad. Y se llama, por ejemplo, Walking in Tokyo in the Rain. And uh, he, all he does is walk. And you see, or like, uh, Caminando en Suiza. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. And, and then you see, like, and you said, oh, man, I wish I lived there. But the, that's the video. He doesn't talk. He only walks. Can you imagine caminando en San Salvador? <laughs> Solo eso se va a oír. Oh, my. Yeah. All the noise. <laughs> All right. Um, Jose Isaias, what is something you wish? I wish I had, for example, a Lamborghini. You wish you had a Lamborghini? Yes. All right, cool. Okay, so we understand present wish? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yes, you I do. I... Mm -hmm. No, I do only have a quick question. So there is no way where I wish I was exist. So in this case, no. we must mm -hmm. say I wish I were. Mm -hmm. Always. Okay. But you will hear some people say I wish I was. But it's not correct. Even native. Even natives. Okay. But so, it's not correct. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see the next part of the video. Now let's go back. Um... Wish I were on a beach. I am in the office. Future. I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. It's only Tuesday tomorrow. Did you notice the use of were when using the pronoun I and it? This change also happens with he and she. This only happens in wishful thinking or hypothetical situations. There's your question, Dennis. We use wish plus past continuous to express that we want to be doing a different action in the present or the future. For example, I wish I were laying on a hammock now. I'm sitting in the office. I wish it weren't raining. It is raining. Okay, that's similar to Rafael's Anton uh, Rafael Antonio's example. Like, man, I wish I were drinking a beer in this moment. Or I wish I had a beer. You, you, it's the same. It's, it's something you wish in the present. We so, teacher. Plus past. Yes. So, for every pronoun, every noun, we are going to be using where, where right? So, that's what every I'm pronoun. saying. Yes. For every pronoun. In this situation. Okay. Yes, for every pronoun. And ya que estamos ahí, there is another exception where you only will use were. Cuando usamos if. If I were, if you were, if he were, if she were, if they were. Also. Okay. Okay. If I were the president, I would. I would. I would put a lot of a big, big tax on liquor. Okay. Okay. Except if I were, because nobody would say if I was, but no, it's if, if I were. It makes sense actually now mm -hmm. because if I was, so if we try to translate, because I think that uh, a lot of people do that, uh, try to translate everything. Uh, so if if I was, is like, si mm -hmm. yo fui. Yeah. But it makes sense. It's your fuera, it's your fuera. So in this case, where mm. com comes to be like uh, fuera. Era, era. Era. <laughs> like if you're fuera, yes. Okay. In this exceptions, remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now now let's see Perfect how we wish to in the past. Express a regret 
or that we want a situation in the past to be different. Hey, Boris, are you here today? There are some people here who I have never heard speak. For example, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Well, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> Boris is, me sorprende, because Boris is always active, but maybe he's busy. He's working right now. Okay, so let's do the past. So listen. In past, we say past perfect. For example, Dennis, here is your example. I wish I had bought Bitcoins. Okay. Yes, that's something automatically you regret now. Exactly. Do you remember the that episode from the Big Bang Theory where all, all of these guys were looking for a USB memory, I think, for a memory flash, where they uh, store store the the Bitcoin that they purchased. So oh, really? When I saw yeah, that, I think. Mm -hmm. So, but, but, but imagine, so that people that purchased Bitcoin at that time when Bitcoin uh, cost like, I don't know, $100, like you said, Mm -hmm. So if they still if they kept that 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 Bitcoin, probably now they are rich. Oh yeah. But they didn't know when they purchased that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that that could could have been a good business for me. I I remember like ten years ago, or maybe eight years ago, maybe eight. Mm -hmm. I took a taxi. A pirata taxi. <laughs> and the person driving the taxi it was a young man. And the taxi, I mean, the car was nice. And I said, is this your car? He says, oh, yes, I bought it. And he told me that he worked in a bank for many years. But he stopped working. Lo despidieron, right? Mm -hmm. So the bank gave him his money, his time. So he decided to buy a car and he invested in Bitcoin. 10 years ago? Maybe less, maybe like eight. And he explained to me, and how is that Bitcoin thing? He says, oh, he explained to me very well. Oh, you know, in this moment, Bitcoin is like $110. Before, like two years ago, it was $25. He me dijo, oh man, I wish I had bought Bitcoin in that time. I in $25. But no. But on Imolo, he said, so I bought my car and with the rest of the money, I bought Bitcoin. And now in that time, me, I was like, tonto, stupido este, because, you know, <laughs> I was like, what a stupid idiot because, you know, what automatically everybody assumes, like, oh, you're that stupid. And, and then I told him, but how do you know, how do you know if Bitcoin is, goes up and down, up and down? And he says, oh, you have to go to, a, in that time, you had to go to a website, log in, and it will tell you the, the Bitcoin. Not like now, you can just see it in Chivo. Now it's very easy. There are many apps. So I, I always remember him because I think that person is rich now. Pero por supuesto, exactly. trabajo en un banco, entonces he knew that in the he, he knew it was a big future. Yeah. And I wish I had listened to him in that time. But no, I took the normal, the normal reaction everybody would take. Que tonto. No, man, you know, it's my money, blah, blah, blah. And I imagine he's rich now. All right. What about you, Claudia Marcela? Tell me something you regret in the past, something you did or something you didn't do and now you regret. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will have, I will have uh, choose another mayor. 
uh, chosen. I'm sorry, I will have chosen another mayor. Or voted for. No, mayor is like uh, the, the university. Oh, it's career. A career, okay. Career. Uh, I will, I, I wish I had chosen another career. Oh, okay, good, good. What career did you choose? A dentistry. Oh, okay. You're a dentist. No, uh, I dropped it, out and I after that I study about technology, mm -hmm. about web design and Photoshop design and, oh. and programming, Python, Java, and so on. So you wish you had chosen what? Study English. <laughs> first, oh, English. First, mm -hmm. study English. First, I study English. After that, I study what I studied now. Oh, okay, good. But you know, you know, dentistry, you know where the money is in dentistry in dentistry? The money yeah, is no no, the money is very bad, but the money is done in Dolencia. That's where the money is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My it's very, it's very special. Yes. My um my wife is a dentist, but I was I what I wish I had studied marketing because I think I think marketing I think I'm good in marketing. But um my wife she's a dentist and she took a, a, an extra course for a ped pediatrician for for dentists. So Odontopediatra, right? She 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 sees children. But the problem, the problem with dentistry is that a normal dentist sees children too. So I told my wife, no man, study in Dodoncia. Because that a normal dentist doesn't do that because it's more complicated and they make a lot, a lot of money. And the normal person doesn't have an uh, education about dental health. Yes. Her friend, her co-worker, cobra like 150 or $200 for endodontia. And he sees five, six people every day. So uh, I told my wife, please study that. No, I want to study because I like children. Yes, I understand you like children. That's good, but think about the money, you know, you know, no, no. Bueno, se especializó de eso hace cinco años y hasta el día de hoy jamás ha usado eso. So I, 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 and I said, oh man, I told you, I told you. <laughs> but, you know, it's terrible, it's terrible. So she works only as a normal dentist now. And you know what the problem about dentists is? Yeah. That Salvadorian people, we never have money. So we only go to the dentist when really it's like, ya no want to, my, my, my teeth hurt. Nobody goes to the dentist because, oh, it was que un chequeo. It's very strange. Yeah, it's correct. People only go for emergencies. And, and and also uh, the insurance doesn't cover that part. Yes, it does. So it's is is worth. Yes, because, you have you to know, pay a private. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I I mean, uh, for people who has insurance, uh, they use it. Even they don't. They are not sick, but to prevent any kind of illness or stuff like that, they go to the to the specialist. But it doesn't ha doesn't cover um dentist or stuff mm. like that. So yeah, yeah, I think that is but, not a, it's not a good business. But do you know that medical care in El Salvador I think is very good? El seguro it's social not expensive. It, oh, no, it's, el seguro social in El Salvador is very good actually. Um <laughs> but, but not in attention. No, no, not in that. No, but but listen to this. It's very good for something very serious, but it's very, very bad for something very basic. 
Um, my wife's brother, he works in Fovial. He had an accident. He broke his leg in eight different parts in a machine. Eight different parts. Can you imagine that? He was, go they were going to cut off his leg and they saved his leg and they put titanium in no sé qué más. Two years, he didn't work. But the operation that they did on him in the United States, maybe it was like $250,000 operation. And here in Seguro Social, free. Well, not free because you pay taxes, but um, my neighbor, he had an open heart surgery. Free. My son, my son, when he was born, his um, pancreas wasn't developed. So it was a very big problem because the sugar, he needed sugar, he didn't. So they had him in a special bubble. You know those special beds? Those beds, Burbu has a decent, I think. Cubos. No. De recién nacidos. But the technology in Cuadora, yes, thank you. Uh, you know that every day, like the the nurse, she never touched my son because he had like a detector, a sensor, and it tells him the movements, the heartbeat, the temperature, everything. So my son was in there for two months. No, I'm sorry, for two weeks. Two weeks. And lo mejoraron, right? And my brother, he's a doctor, and he tells me, por eso te digo que seguro social es mejor. Because if you would have taken him to a private hospital, the private hospital would have charged me $1,000 a day for the cuidado que tenía mío. So, so that's what I'm saying is good and bad, because remember, I told you, I don't know if I told you this class, but I, I used to work as an interpreter. Interpreter with doctors in the United States with doctors. So, if you go to a doctor in the United States, and the doctor tells you, "Do you need an interpreter?" Yes. So then they call, and I receive the call, and, and I am the interpreter. Is that and, easy? I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's at the beginning. Yes and no. I mean, no, at the beginning, it's, it's a little difficult because learning the words. But then it's easy because it's the same things that you see every day. Pero lo que voy es de que in the United States, it's an obligation that you have to pay insurance. So, for example, Dennis, Benis Tudi says, okay, I will pay insurance for my son para pediatra. A dentist. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, Dennis, you, your son is sick. He goes to the pediatrician. Pero viene el pediatra te dice, sí, pero él tiene un problema respiratorio y eso es con un, uh, ¿cómo es? Y te lo laringólogo, whatever. So, that's a speciality. Otorrino Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Otorrino laringólogo. So, then that is a speciality. So your insurance doesn't cover that. Pobrecitos, como se estafan a la gente así allá. You know, like... You that, go, is, hmm? that is something that I can't understand. So why do we have a medic... It's, it's not a national... Uh, Seguro Social is not a national... Uh, I think it's autonoma... Is, I, no, I, right? I I think it's national because Salvadoreño, anything that says El Salvador is national. But what I'm saying right. that Seguro Social here is universal. So, for example, if your wife is pregnant and she's going to have a baby, y va a ser cesárea, es especialidad, no importa. I mean, it, it's covered by a Seguro Social. Exactly. Pero... Tienen que ver el otro lado, otros seguros sociales de otro país para darse cuenta del nuestro. Pero, like, when you have, pero también nunca han ido y da cólera que a veces yo he ido que tengo asma. 
that I'm really, really sick. And then I go to emergency and I see like 20 people. Y se ven perfectamente bien. Y esta gente que tiene porque está en emergencia. Oh, my finger. My finger hurts. Oh, tengo dolor de cabeza. Oh, oh, this. So that's, you know, esa gente buscando incapacidad. Por ejemplo, hoy, hoy dicen de que fue bastante gente al, al seguro por el concierto de firme ayer. <laughs> yeah. So, so yes, el seguro social is terrible when it's something very basic, but it's actually very good when it's something very serious. And so, so that's good. Uh, so I wish I had. So in this case, Claudia, she wished she had studied what she's studying now. What about you, Jose Isaias? What is something you you regret in the past? Um, for example, I wish I had traveled one year ago to Honduras. You had traveled. Yes. What happened? You didn't. You didn't get to travel. No, I can't travel because uh, I was studying in that time. Just oh. my family went. Only your father. My family. Oh, okay, okay. What about you, Dennis? I was alone in home. Right, so, but that's not bad. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Dennis? Um, something regret. Let me see. I wish I hadn't purchased um a Honda Civic that was my first car. You wish you hadn't purchased. Exactly. Why? It was a bad because it it was a nightmare. You know, when I made that purchase, I purchased this car to my brother-in-law. So he was like uh, Coyote. That's the he, word that we use. He was a hustler. Hustler. Okay. He was a hustler. And I didn't, I didn't bring a mechanic to watch the car. That, that was my first mistake. And I was in love with that model. It was a, a Honda Civic 2002, uh, full extras, coupe, coupe, I don't know if, coupe. only two doors. Coupe. It, it, coupe, okay, it was a, a sport model. So I was in love with that car. So I didn't bring a mechanic. I, I just, so then my brother-in-law at that time, he told me it's nice. So I'm going to give you a good price and stuff like that, you know. So at the end, he, it doesn't matter that we were almost family. He was looking for money. So at the end, like one or two months, I had to to expend like $500 in the, in the engine. And so, what happened uh, when you asked him? So he told me that uh, since you learned on that car, you didn't you didn't drive and that good or stuff like that, you know. Yeah. He he said that it was my fault. But every mechanic that I that I used for this car, uh, that watched this car, told me that the car was was a bullshit. You know, is he is he still your brother-in-law? No, not anymore. Now go kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah but it i i, I mean i i pay for that car it was like five years ago i paid like three thousand five hundred dollars you know and i expend on that car more than one thousand five hundred dollars so it was like five thousand dollars and at the end i sold that car in two thousand three hundred oh my god That's... But you know, but you know, that's a good lesson for you. Yeah. You learn from that. Yeah. Now, uh, the most recent car that I purchased, uh, I paid $50 in a mechanic. 
but for me it doesn't matter to pay fifty dollars. Yeah. Uh, Hasun has so always. I am sure that uh, how is the car? So the mechanic is gonna tell me, okay, you 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 have most to spend on this, you must to repair this and stuff like that. But I know what I am purchasing. Of course, yes. So yeah, yeah. I am not. I, I am not gonna make that mistake again. That right. was a good lesson, how you said. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Boris, welcome. Uh, good evening. <laughs> Where were you? I was surprised that you were not in class today. Yes, but I, I was I was listening to everything that you said. Okay, good. So what is something that you regret in the past, Boris? Well, something that I regret in the past is, uh, well, I, I wish a, um, hadn't, hadn't bought a motorcycle. <laughs> hmm. Why? What happened? Did you have an accident? I had a, two accidents in that motorcycle and I was 60 days off. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah. Do you, still, do, you, do you still do do you still have the motorcycle? The the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I give that motorcycle to my uh, uh, I don't know how to say to my brother-in-law. I think <laughs> <laughs> to Dennis' brother-in-law. <laughs> So, <laughs> to the hustle <laughs> to the hustler hustler yeah. motorcycles are are very dangerous actually yes <laughs> by the traffic yes no and you know you know what i think the problem is with motorcycle drivers is that i think i think the majority of motorcycle drivers they have ne well the young the very young ones i don't think they have ever driven a car because they don't understand the punto ciego, the blind spot. Yeah, the blind spot. Sometimes I am driving and I see a motorcycle in Senota que maneja. Because he looks, he, he's going to jump in, but he makes sure that the car saw him. But there are some that they just cut, cut you and go in. Yeah, but something more, teacher, that increases a lot is uh, people using cell phones when they are driving. Oh, yes. It's, it's yes. And for something very stupid. Hmm. People chatting while driving. Can you imagine that? You know, you know what is something I saw one day? And uh, I was in a stoplight. And the person next to me, he was driving, and the visor, la, la visera, he had it down, and there he had a tablet. And he was watching a movie, or I don't know what he was watching. But can you imagine that? He, wa he was watching TV or something. And I remember I, I, was, I was next to him, and I was looking at him, con una cara de... Are you serious? And you, I remember what I did is I pretended I was recording him. I wasn't recording him, but I pretended to record him. So he sees me. He said, okay, why are you recording me? Because look at what you're doing. No me graves. Oh, yes, I will put you in Facebook right now. And of course, I didn't record him, but maybe, maybe he learned a lesson. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Let me see. I, wish, I, mm -hmm. you I wish I had a, a camera in that moment. No, you know what? I wish I had recorded him. <laughs> oh. Really, I wish I had recorded him because what he was doing was very stupid because he was not only risking his life, he was risking the people around. It was, it was bad. One time... A long time ago, I had an accident, a car accident. 
my ex-girlfriend, she used to work in, in the airport in the VIP section. So she met uh, Paulina Rubio. And uh, Paulina Luvio gave her some tickets, and we went to the concert to a VIP. And I was, yeah, okay, cool. This was a long time ago, but we were in the VIP, and I remember I went to buy a beer. And I said, hey, ¿cuánto vale la cerveza? Eh, nueve dólares. Ah, ya vengo. <laughs> no, man, I was not going to pay nine dollars for one beer. So the story is I did not drink anything. And, you know, the concert was good. When the concert finished, we were going home. And suddenly this car hit us. And, and the airbags exploded. Whoa, what happened? You know, And I saw a man. He was an old man. And he was dead. So I look like you know, you know, and I look at my girlfriend. Are you okay? Are you okay? She says, "Yes, yes." What happened? I said, "Hold on, wait. I'm going to help the man." And I'm like, "Señor, señor, are you okay?" And when I was getting close, he wasn't dead. He was sleeping because he was very drunk. But you know what? He had una cangurera full of money. But like really full of money. And I remember I took his cell phone and I in ese entonces aún eran de los de like like um Blackberry. Brick. <laughs> like brick cell phone. <laughs> yeah, they weren't they weren't really smartphones yet. They were like cell phones, normal cell phones. So I called the last person and said, Hello, can I have a like, uh, you know, um, I'm sorry, the owner of this telephone had an accident, and, and it was his wife. So I remember his wife said, Anda atrás tu papá que ya chocó otra vez. Otra vez, okay. So this was normal for the man. Wow, so then the police came and everything. And, you know, the police came and hicieron lo que hicieron, and, you know, the next day, me dice, uh, I went to visit that man to jail. And he says, look, I'm really sorry, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's okay, pero please pay my car. Y todo. Y él solo me dice, mire, solo le voy a decir algo. ¿Qué se hizo mi dinero? Me? O sea, I never took the money. And I wish I had taken the money. <laughs> that's my regret now <laughs> because he had you know he told me yo tengo una como se llama donde venden semillas y todo eso no agroservicio para dar eso, una eso, that, that y acababa de hacer cierre de la semana y llevaba todo el dinero ahí he said he had like three thousand dollars Cuando me está diciendo eso, me dice, oh my God, really? And uh, I wish I had taken all that money, but he wants to like it down. <laughs> you know, he doesn't remember. But eh, de hecho, él pensó que yo era, porque me dice, si usted lo agarró, solo dígamelo, está bien, pero de ahí arregle su carro. Y, no, yo no le tomé nada. Sí, vi el dinero. Le... But, you know, there was nobody, nobody, I mean, and he was sleeping. Really, I could have like every day for one year. I wake up in the at in the middle of the night. Why didn't I take that money? Why didn't I take that money? Why didn't I take that money? Why? Because you are <laughs> honest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, everybody tells me no, but you know, you did something good. You know, it's okay. Yes, but I feel bad. <laughs> no, but you know what? Yeah. What's it? Yeah, so no, that, so that's like a little regret I had for one year saying I spent one year or maybe more 
every day saying, I wish I had taken that money. I wish I had taken that money, but no, I was an honest person. <laughs> yeah. So, um, no, pero ahí, I'm not, no, pudo, o sea, no llegaron the Red Cross, Green Cross, Yellow Cross, the police, the, 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 um, los bomberos, I don't know why. You go, I was like, there were so many possibilities of people that could have taken that money. Yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ah, man, pero de verdad me dolió. Cuando él me estaba contando, andaba más de tres mil dólares. Y yo, oh, my God, are you serious? <laughs> so, ya me acordé, man, ya me deprimí otra vez. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> No, I'm joking. No, but you know what? I didn't take it. So, but you know, okay. So then that is a past regret. I wish I had, I wish I had taken the money. I wish I hadn't bought that car. I wish I had studied something different. And Jose Saia said, I wish I had gone to, to um, Honduras. Honduras. My father died seven months ago. And at the end of his life, the last years, my father and I were very, very, very close. Every weekend we were, my father was crazy about my son. So every Saturday and Sunday we were together. We went somewhere. And, um, we had a very, very, like the last years of his life, he wasn't only my father, he was my best friend. And I never told him I love him. And also, yeah, he knew. He never told me he loves me, <laughs> but I know he did. But now I wish I had told him how much I loved him. And how happy I was he was my father. So if you have your, but you know, I think I never told him because my father, I don't know, you know, machismo always exists a little, you know, like, you know, but at the end, I wish I had told him I loved him very much. So if you still have your father or your mother, tell them how much you love them because you don't want to be in my position. Yes. Okay. So I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll finish this lesson three. Okay. 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 Hey, 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 Dennis, did did you um, did you print the book? No, no yet. Oh, okay. But I'll do it. Yeah, check check out the book. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's gonna be very useful. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the course. And I think that the next level is uh, the preparation for the TOEFL, right? I think so, yes. It's going to be very useful. By the way, how much does it cost, the exam? I don't know because it varies. But you know what? Why do you, why do you want TOEFL, if, if I may ask? For work. You know, I, I am looking out for, for a freelancer position, like... Maybe like, I don't know what you do. What do you do with the company that you work for? But I've been looking for different jobs at Upwork, uh, freelancer or, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I think that is going to be very useful because maybe they are going to ask for a certification or yes. something like okay. that. Do you, so, do you know what TOEFL is for? No, exactly. Okay, let me explain. Um, first of all, Dennis, one thing I would recommend to you, I would recommend you to teach English first. Teach basic English. Mm -hmm. Because I know that you can teach basic English. Do you know what is basic English? Like the verb to be? No. Uh... No, no empieza con verbos. Teach simple tenses. Teach simple past, simple present, simple future. Teach that person how to make the questions and teach how to make the answers. Remember what I told you de mi amigo de Holanda? 
que le enseñé a decir, yo voy a, he said, what? Oh, Just repeat, yeah, yeah. yo voy a, and he says, what and is that? And you said that, it's gonna. Mm -hmm. Yes, y le enseñé a decir, yo voy a, y, and he said, what is that? It, es futuro, you speak future now. Why? Después de yo voy a, solo pones un verbo en el complement. Yo voy a comer pupusas. Yo voy a beber cerveza. Yo voy a comprar un carro. Pero siempre es yo voy a. That's similar in English. So, it's like saying, I am going to eat. I am going to buy. I am going to go. So, why do I, you should teach the class, everybody. You should teach basic English to little children. Why? Because when you teach, you learn more. Agree. Lo que hablamos hoy, Dennis, de I was and I were. Before, yo decía I was and he was because I see it. Porque he's saying I were. So I remember many years ago when I was teaching that, one is a wishful thinking and in this exceptions, se usa I were for everything. So I remember I was teaching him, okay, oh, that's why. So then the first lessons, I was actually learning more than the student. But why was I learning? Because I was teaching. So that's one thing I recommend you. Teach little children. Hacelo voluntario, whatever. You know, but that's for you to practice. And TOEFL, a mí siempre me preguntan, ¿qué estudio TOEFL? TOEFL para mí es bien estúpido. O sea, es, 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 el examen es... El examen es así, mira. Dime una oración en un presente perfecto con una acción no inte intencional que pudo haber terminado. O sea, algo tan like, what? Y cuando era, I, um, I will be drinking if I don't have anything to do the next day. Era algo así de simple. Y con solo oír la pregunta te quedabas, what? I mean, ni, yo conozco teachers de que no le hemos pasado la primera vez. El TOEFL. Y TOEFL es... Realmente solo para estudiar fuera. Really? Yeah. For example, if you're a student and you want to study in, uh, I don't know, um, England. No, you want to study in the United States. So you go to the embassy. Why do you want to go to, you want a student visa? Aunque la, la entrevista con la embajada sea en inglés y ellos oyen tu inglés, te van a pedir el TOEFL. Porque eso es lo que. El... TOEFL es test of. English fluency. Y por eso el examen es very stupid. Ahora, hay uno que se llama TOEIC. I recommend you TOEIC. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, I don't know a lot about it, but... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone told me, and I guess now that you are mentioned this, told me... Well, but, but, but that person that mentioned, mentioned this to me, maybe didn't know a lot about it but mm -hmm. told me that the TOEFL is better than TOEIC and the TOEIC is very like technician for technician or, or and stuff like that so, well but you see that's that's the thing people generalize if somebody told you TOEFL is better but why yes it's better I mean in cosas. If, if you mm -hmm. if you tell me, hey teacher, I want a student visa. What do you think I should study? Definitely TOEFL. Oh, because it's a a TOEFL certificate. Mm -hmm. But hey teacher, I want to learn better English, and I finish advanced. What should I study? TOEIC. Les voy a dar right. un ejemplo. Les voy a dar un ejemplo. Si yo digo, imagínense estamos en un crucero, y me oyen hablar y yo digo. Hola, ¿qué tal? Eh, por favor, todos se amarran bien porque la vamos a pasar, la vamos a pasar bien chingón. ¿Qué nacionalidad soy? Mexican. Mexican, right? Si yo digo, hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenido, por favor, todos, porque aquí, you know, Puerto Rico. I am... Eh, hola, eh, hoy vamos a tener en el menú pollo. Argentino. Yes. Y esta es la gente de estos países son muy mal educados porque hablan su español muy mal. 
pero lo hablan esperando que la gente entienda que así es. O sea, lo siento, no es pollo, es pollo. Lo siento, no es puer Puerto Rico, es Puerto Rico. ¿Por qué les digo esto? Porque lo mismo pasa en inglés con toic. Yes. Toic te enseña cómo hablar el inglés internacional. Por eso se llama Test of International Communication. Por ejemplo, ¿saben cómo dicen los ingleses al baño? Water closet. Okay. Pero vienen los, Estados, los americanos y decimos, voy a decir decimos en general porque en América, nosotros decimos bathroom. O restroom. Oh, ah, no, eso voy. Entonces, ellos dicen, why do you say, no, los ingleses dicen, why do you say bathroom in McDonald's? You don't take a bath. And it's true. Y vienen los gringos y dicen, hey, you say water closet. What the hell is a water closet? So it's not water closet, it's not bathroom, it's restroom. So that's what TOEIC teaches you to speak the formal English. Nice. Teacher. Yes. Um, this certificate lasts, I, I, I heard that only lasts one year. Yeah, that's the problem. I think, I think, I think TOEFL is three years, I think. Miren, yo, yo he, hecho, he hecho el TOEFL como tres veces y nunca lo sé. Ya ni lo tomo. It's like, no, that's crazy. Y realmente, people don't care. Por eso digo, TOEFL is only like for a student visa. Para un trabajo, igual. Para, hay mucha gente pobrecita que ha llegado al trabajo y TOEFL, a un call center, por ejemplo. They don't care. They only want you, they want to understand you and that you understand. That's what they, that's what they want. Por eso te digo, Dennis, si tú quieres estudiar eso, quieres practicar más, estudia TOEIC. Porque vas okay. a entender más el idioma. Pero el TOEFL es para demostrar que podés. O sabes la gramática del idioma, ¿me entiendes? Entonces depende. O sea, si tu amigo, no, no es que quiera contradecir a tu amigo, pero si él dijo que el TOEFL es mejor... Depende para qué. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So, but remember what I told you. For example, Boris, teach your co-workers. Teach them English. Okay. When you teach English, you speak more. Hablar más, más, You know, you, you, I don't know, your fluency, más. Dennis, Jose, say it. No se háganlo en una iglesia, uh, Claudia se nos fue, creo. Eh, pero háganlo en una iglesia donde puedan. Y créanme que les va a funcionar porque las primeras veces quien más, más se va a beneficiar son ustedes. Hasta más van a entender. Oh, oh, that's why. ¿Se acuerdan cuando la, la expresión que ustedes, cuando les expliqué the difference between I and me? Que se que, ah, por eso. Ay, yo también hacía igual. Me acuerdo que cuando me tocó dar uh, Active and Passive, yo estaba leyendo el libro. Ok, so, I is, is this, and me is this. Y cuando me quedé, ah, por it, that's why. Y me quedo, ya es porque uno solo decía naturalmente, pero va entendiendo más. No sé, siempre el, el, que, el que enseña entiende más. Y cada vez que más va enseñando el tema, va entendiendo un poco más, 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 más. Entonces, ustedes ya están un poco avanzados. Intenten enseñar básico. Ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, class. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Thank great you. Night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you.